Hey everybody, I'm Delicia, and thanks so much for tuning in to another fun unboxing, this time specifically on my farm rolled package from Pravada Cigar Club. So I'm gonna do things a little bit different this time. Usually I go through and I take my time, I talk about you know some of the details about the club in case you're not familiar, and then I just kind of show out the cigars, but I'm actually going to jump right into this pack and light one up and then kind of work things backwards and talk to you um, a little bit about more of the details because I am super, super, can I say super duper? I'm super duper excited about this particular farm rolled pack. I've heard things and um, yeah, so I'm gonna actually grab one of these, light it up, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna tell you why I'm excited and all of that. So first off, Sorry, I'm being impatient in front of you. This is the real me. <laughs> I'm not a patient person. Um, here we go. So I'm gonna light this little baby up. Oh. I wish there was some sort of an app that you could share aromas with people because that would be the coolest invention ever. Um, the aroma just on the wrapper of this oh, it's earthy leather with like a hint of something subtly sweet if that makes sense i don't know that there's actually a thing like one word to describe that other than how i just mentioned it and i'm using um on purpose i'm trying to match because you know the farm world pack is green and i have this beautiful new green cutter from calibri that i love 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 this is like my second favorite color I love olive green. Okay, so the reason, as I light this up, the reason I am super excited about this particular farm rolled package is because all four of these cigars are coming straight from AJ Fernandez, who are familiar and watch my videos a lot. I add a lot of AJ's, whether they're his particular named cigars or just cigars that he's blended, which um, as you are probably aware, he is in the industry quite a bit collaborating with so many people. There's really not a cigar that he touches that's bad. Um, and I can say that about very few people in the industry, but he is definitely one of them. His knowledge, his overall uh, just presence in the industry from growing to blending to everything in between, he's amazing. And so when I saw that this farm world package is all his cigars, I mean, I'm just, I'm too excited. Mm. Oh, much better. Oh, so that gives you a little bit of a, of a spice, kind of a cinnamon with the background of like a slight black pepper. There's um, a beautiful aroma already. I mean, just within a second or so of burning it up and um, wow. But um, okay, so now that I have that lit up and I'm gonna smoke this along with you. Um, gosh, that's good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you again backwards now on the program in case you're not familiar. I think most of you by now watch my videos often. Um, I do apologize. It has been a couple months since I've done a Pravada Cigar Club unboxing um, only because things have been kind of hectic. I've been really busy. I'm a little bit behind. I have talked uh, on other videos about kind of some things going on in personal life and just all this craziness going on. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I got this package on film and talk to you guys about the farm rolled and the reason I'm, I'm focusing more on the farm rolled um, for this video other than the fact that it's all AJ and I'm super excited is because um, if you're not yet a member of Pravada Cigar Club they're currently closed so I'm sorry I know there's some of you most of you actually watching I think are already members but I know there's a handful of you or maybe you're newer to the game that um, you're not yet members and um, don't fret too long I know that at some point he's talked about opening it back up I just don't know when that's going to be, but definitely check in on their website, um, on their social media to find out when eventually they'll um, open the club back up. And I don't know for how long they'll do that and like what the limit is, but definitely pay attention and join because it's a fabulous club. It's one that I've been a member now 
a uh, few years. I mean, since pretty much since the beginning, I love the club. Um, but again, the farm world program has been a somewhat newer addition that has just hit the ground running. Um, I couldn't be more excited to tell you guys about this. But again, the reason why I'm, I'm taking the time to do this particular unboxing and talk to you about what's in this package is because you can still be part of the farm world program. So if you're not yet a member of Pravada and they're closed, um, one of two things, if you're a member, you can just add it to your subscription. You can add the farm world uh, package, the farm world program onto your current subscription. Or if you're not a member, you can still just participate in the farm world. And it's amazing how um, Brian has been able to bring this about. Um, it's really, especially this particular month uh if between I'm, I'm a little late in doing the the video for it but basically between september 15th and october 15th you have this exclusive opportunity to be part of basically an aj takeover so while you may find aj cigars in you know randomly in the different farm world programs in the future you will not uh, as far as i know you will not find all four of these cigars coming from his factory in the farm world uh, you know packaging so i it's it's quite the steal i don't know anywhere else where you can get four premium cigars for 20 bucks and that's what you're getting with the farm world program it's basically coming right from their factory straight to your doorstep they're cutting out the middle guy so there's no bands on these cigars but i did some extra research this time and I actually talked to Brian directly and was asking him a little bit more about it because I had heard some things. There's always chatter going on. People are so excited about these programs. And so I called him and asked him, you know, what's the, what's the deal with AJ's, uh, you know, package this month? And pretty much two of the cigars are current blends that are just unbanded. So they don't tell you which ones they are. It's kind of fun to, to guess and see if you're right. But there's two of them that are aj's regular blends that are out there on the market but they just don't have a band on them and the other two are the really cool ones because they're basically blends that aj likes himself that they're probably some sort of a version of a similar blend that is just not available on the market so i like to think of those as if you've ever been to a factory if you've ever been to a tour if you've ever visited a farm and you're walking around with either you know, the grower or um, sometimes, you know, the, the viejito that's there uh, just overseeing things. They always have cigars in their pocket. They're usually wearing a guayabera. I mean, those are the best shirts for cigar smoking. And they always have cigars in their pockets. And if you're lucky or if you're anything, I mean, I've been very blessed. I'm very spoiled in this industry. I have people hand me cigars a lot. And so I think of these cigars as the cigars that are coming out of those pockets. Those guys that are, you know, on the farm all day doing all the, the they just know everything about tobacco. Those are the best cigars because those are the ones that they smoke and they have the best palates. So these are the cigars that I like to think that those are like coming out of those guys' pockets. Like, here you go. Here's one that it doesn't have a band on it. You don't know the name, but just smoke it and enjoy it. And um, that's actually being packaged here, you know, for you directly to your doorstep. So I, I just love it. I mean, I am so excited about about this one. So again, I'm talked your ear off. I'm sorry. I think I went over how you can join if you're not familiar. Just to, I like to try and cover that in case there's anybody new to, to seeing things. So you can definitely jump onto the PravadaCigarClub.com and click on the farm rolled and then you can see uh, how you can add that either to your current subscription or you can just go on there and add it. You can also go onto their shop and you can still pick up, you know, single cigars or boxes of cigars. In fact, I was just looking at a box of AJ Lanceros. So anyway, back to this. So I am, hmm. let's see, I am smoking 5x54 Habano Robusto most likely. So <clears throat> again, this gives you kind of a brief description. And let me read to you real quick. If, you're, if you happen to not know who AJ Fernandez is and you're like, what are you talking about? Let me just read you a little bit about the factory spotlight because this is cool just to know a little bit more about it, which by the way, he has a beautiful factory, beautiful farm. I've been there a few times and um, if I could, I would just stay there and hang out and smoke cigars and drink coffee all day long. Um, so the Tabacalera Fernandez in Esteli, Nicaragua, Tabacalera Fernandez has been busy at work masterfully. AJ Fernandez oversees all aspects of production, growing, fermenting, sorting, rolling, aging, all done on premise. 
from humble beginnings to an operation that most would feel warrants a business MBA to accomplish. AJ does it with a drive and passion, producing the highest quality Nicaraguan tobaccos with premium wrapper leaves from all over the world. AJ Fernandez and company has been dominating for years. AJ wakes up at 3 a.m. to walk the fields, check the rollers work, sample the cigars, and throw out anything that does not meet his meticulous standards. The cigars AJ constructed for the club in your subscription this month represent the array of flavors and experiences to be had by AJ's by smoking AJ's products. Enjoy, hashtag we are Pravada. Let's all shout out to AJF Cigars on Instagram and let them know how much we appreciate him sharing this opportunity with us. Definitely. Um, I was just, it's funny because even before this, I was just uh, talking to AJ on um, social media because I'm, I'm trying to do some couple things with him anyways, but he had a picture of himself, you know, with a huge leaf of tobacco, actually with a bundle. It looks like they had just taken it down from the curing barn and um, he was in there with you know one one of the guys that helps you know on the farm but he is truly um, a farmer I love it every time I've gone there you'll see him literally on his horse and he's like going through the fields he wears the hat he's the, he's totally legit and he's amazingly humble but there's um, he definitely has a presence about him I mean he it's like he's from humble beginnings, but he knows his stuff is good <laughs> because it is. I mean, I just, I, again, he has collaborated now with so many different people, smaller boutique companies. Um, Southern Draw is a huge one that I'm a big fan of, and they they collaborate with AJ up to, you know, the H Upmans and uh, Diesel. I mean, there's so many different brands that AJ has gone in and again you know collaborated but basically that just means like he's blending for them so it's his brains it's his palette and he's just amazing at it so again i don't know where else you could pick up four of these cigars um for 20 bucks i mean that's that's a steal don't tell anybody <laughs> that's a steal um okay so we have this one here that i believe is the one that yeah this has to be the one that i'm smoking so this is the it just has an item number and then it just says um, fernandez nicaragua 5x54 habano robusto tasting notes says earthy cream cocoa caramel pepper cedar leather uh, afternoon evening is when it's uh, recommended and i will say that this one tastes familiar, so this might be one that's out on the shelves that just doesn't have a band on it. It tastes familiar, although it could be one that's tweaked. I'd need to really like get into it a little bit more, but it, it has a, a familiarity to it and it's absolutely amazing. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> um, moving on, so we have this one here which I'll show you some close-up pictures, but this is the um, Fernandez Nicaragua 5.5 by 46, Connecticut, Corona Gorda, and its tasting notes are cream, nut, cedar, spices, black pepper, toast. This also says morning, afternoon. I'm gonna venture out and say with coffee, this would be great. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, and there goes my ash. Um, all right. And then we have these two beautiful church hills. One is a box press. Oh, I think this has this box press one. I'm going to guess that this is the other one that is uh, unbanded and available. Just guessing, you know, having not smoked it yet, just based on the look. So then we have the um, Fernandez Nicaragua 7x54 Broadleaf Churchill. So fruit, chocolate, leather, earth espresso. This is a nighttime stick recommended for, I would say, perhaps a nice, lovely um, adult beverage, maybe of the uh, rum family. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have this uh, Fernandez Nicaragua 7.5 by 54 box press San Andres Churchill, leather, black pepper, mocha, coffee, cherry, sweet. And this one says morning. So I, I'm very confident that this is um, a cigar that I'm not going to say the name of it because I don't want to be a spoiler. Um, I actually don't know. I, I wasn't told, but I'm just guessing based on the description, the look. Um, I kind of have a feeling I know which cigar this is, which if I'm right, this is one of my favorites um, from AJ. 
um, I actually, the first time that I, one of the times early on in my travels and going to the farms, um, not, it wasn't my first factory that I went to, but it was the first one that, because I have a good relationship with AJ, I like to consider him a friend. I mean, he's somebody that, um, I, in fact, this is the story and I've told this before. I have a bundle of Lanceros that I get from him from time to time. And it came about me teasing him and saying, you know, I love this new world, but how come you don't make it in a Lancero? Make me a Lancero. And then sure enough, that was at the festival one of the years. And the next night he was like, Hey, um, come here. And then he handed me a bundle wrapped in newspaper of, uh, the new worlds, uh, in a Lancero. And those were just like me. And then the following year I went back and he had a different, I forget which cigar it was, but it wasn't the new world. It was another cigar that he had made me in Lancero. It's just for me, just like, you know, a little bundle of 25. And I, it was like the best thing ever. It was one of like the best gifts, but, um, because he's really cool. And when I go, he'll like, I think he's there and he's, he's always busy. You know, he's always in his office talking to somebody out on the floor, talking to the rollers. He's always, he's like a busy, hardworking man. But when I've gone to the factory, if I see him, you know, I wave at him and he'll come out and he'll take my group and we'll do like a, I, I want to call it like a, maybe a more of a behind the scenes tour. Mm. I'm being sloppy and I'm like dropping ash everywhere. Sorry. Um, but that was the first place that I saw and asked him, you know, how, how do they make box press cigars? Uh, I was curious. I didn't know at that time. Um, again, it was somewhat early on in, in my career of smoking and my career of reviewing and things like that. But um, he actually took me to the room where they had these box press cigars that they were doing. And it's basically the way he does it is they use the, the molds and they flip them over and they just, they, they, they press them. And so typically when you have the rounded cigars, you have the cigar molds that they're laying in and then they have a lid. So it's like a a, a bottom piece that they lay the cigars in as they're rolling and then when they're done they put the top piece that's equally matched let me if i'm describing this correctly so they have like notches depending on the size and then the top part of the of the the mold has the same matching notches and they put it on there then they stack them and then they have um, most places have they're kind of on the on the floor on this press machine that they most of them do it by hand it's really cool and they, they layer these uh, molds in there and then they crank them. And then every so often um, throughout the day, they uncrank them, they open them up, they roll the cigars around, they put the lids back on, they put them back in that thing and then they crank them again and they apply different pressures. And again, these are the people on the floor that have been doing this for years. They know they've been trained, they're highly skilled. Um, so for the box pressing, it's basically the opposite of that where they're pretty much just laid in this different type of mold but then the top of it is just flat and so they're they're actually pressed just with the other boxes it's kind of a cool thing um i i geek out on this stuff so i apologize if you're not interested in that and i'm just rambling on but for me personally i think box press is cool and i like to smoke those cigars for nothing else than when i take pictures of the cigars it's nice when i want to lay it on something for the effect of a picture and it doesn't roll off <laughs> that's like just being a total nerd about it but i think it's a really neat process how um, just again, somebody had the idea of like, Hey, let's try something not traditional and, um, you know, create this different type of shape and let's do this box press thing, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but since I'm rambling on, I'm not puffing on this as frequent maybe as I should be. And it's still burning just beautifully. Um, I, you, you guys have seen me in videos where I start talking and I barely am like two puffs in and the cigar goes out. Um, that's not the case with pretty much any of AJ cigars. And again, that goes for the cigars that he collaborates with and they make their name on an AJ product. It's just perfection. So again, that's why I'm super hyped. And I was so excited when I knew this was coming because I was like, I can't wait to share this with you guys. So I hope, hope, hope that you don't um, procrastinate. And once you see this video and if you, you know, follow Pravada, I know Brian does a great job of making really funny videos and he's like, he's cool to watch. I mean, I, I love his videos, but he's very informative and he gives a lot of information, but definitely um, <clears throat> coming from um, an impartial source, uh, you don't want to miss out on this particular farm world package. Just all of them are a great deal. They're always the, the four for 20 and they all have the same kind of a story. I just happened to be a huge fan of AJ. Like I was so thrilled when I knew that the whole thing was AJ cigars. I was like, dude, 20 bucks. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that. So 
Definitely, um, if you're not a member of Pravada, again, sorry that they're currently closed. Keep checking back. And as soon as I find out that they open, you'll definitely hear from me because I know there's a lot of you that were asking about that. Um, however, you can still uh, join the Farm World program, so don't procrastinate. And I think I mentioned everything. I'm sorry if I forgot. Be sure to post your questions, your comments. Um, if you've already received your Farm World pack, uh, let me know what you thought, which ones you smoked. Um, all of that great stuff. I'd love to read through the comments. Be sure to tag Pravada Cigar Club in all your Instagram posts and definitely show some love for AJ Cigars as well. And um, I'll be sure to post all the links to, the, to everything I mentioned in the video below so that you can easily find them. And thanks so much for stopping by. I can't wait to see you guys again soon. Enjoy those cigars. Don't forget to tag me. Also, post those pictures. Show some love. Cheers, guys. See you later.